Oklahoma lawmakers return to the state capitol for what promises to be another busy week. Joining us live at the state capitol with a look ahead is Pat McGuigan from CapitalBeatOK.com. And uh, Pat, if you could, maybe give me a, just a couple of highlights about major legislation under consideration this week. Sure. The, by far, Rich, the biggest one will be simply accelerating the process of appropriations. The General Conference Committee on Appropriations will meet at 1 today. And that's a very important meeting. It'll be fairly routine, uh, perhaps, because they'll simply be implementing the accord that was announced last week between the governor, the president pro tem, and the House Speaker. And that involves, of course, spending $223.5 million to cover some of this year's shortfall and then setting aside another $223.5 million for next year, leaving $149 million in the rainy day fund. There's other important legislation, of course, including a school choice measure that's controversial but also attracting interesting support uh, uh, from individuals right there in Tulsa, Senator Newberry. Uh, Senator Eason McIntyre and Representative Shoemate are all supporting that. So those are just a couple of items. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, on, on Friday, a judge ruled uh, uh, an abortion bill unconstitutional that had already been signed by the governor, uh, saying it, it, it had multiple issues, not one single issue. And the legislature said, okay, we're going to come back and we'll just have to start over and break those things out. Is that going to happen during this session or is that for another day? I think that'll probably be this session. There's already been movement on a couple of those items. I'm afraid I don't know all the details. I believe there's six parts to it. And yes, they'll pass those as individual measures. And when I say they'll pass them, I'm kind of predicting the future. It does have broad support uh, even in both parties. Okay, so they're going to try and get around that judge ruling. Uh, obviously, as someone who observes these uh, sessions for a long time, uh, third week of uh, work here, are they, are they getting a lot done? They really are. I mean, you have you can't say they're not working hard. They're here long hours. Some of them have already rolled in at this point to begin the week's work. And it's a very fast and condensed process. In fact, the Senate voted last week to suspend the rules to allow the process to go faster. So they are working hard, and it'll be interesting to see how many of these important debates turn out. All right, Pat, we thank you very much for joining us. Pat McGuigan from uh, CapitalBeatOK.com. Obviously, Pat's uh, working early this morning as well.